Happy Monday all and welcome to another episode of Let's Play Minecraft. So we're going to jump right in and I'm going to first start off by apologizing for last week's episode. Uh, it wasn't that great. There was a technical issue. Um, I'll get into that in a second. First, let's do pumpkins. Uh, so this week we have Private Creek Boy 3. Private Bottom 121. Private Crafter of Swords, who I've seen on the server, as Chase98. Private Shane Shock. Private Stinky Pete, who reminds me of Pete from Breaking Bad. Uh, Private Lewis J17. Private Howcast Protector. We did not make this name. Somebody made this up. Really interesting and. I mean, I guess throwing Howcast in your username is an easy way to get noticed. I'm not going to promise that that's an easy way to get on the, the, the wall, but that was very entertaining. Uh, Private Lucan Man and Private Jusher, or J Usher. I'm going to go with Jusher. One, two, three, four. Welcome to the army, guys. Uh, to address a quick question, someone asked, how do you rank up in the army? Uh, quick answer, you don't. <laughs> Mainly because... The whole army thing was totally an on-the-fly idea I had while I was actually recording an episode, and I went with it, and it completely overwhelmed me. Uh, you guys never fail to amaze me at how every week, you know, you want to be in the army, and I think it's awesome. But that said, it is also very overwhelming, and, and it is work to manage, making sure I'm not ignoring people, and, you know, everyone gets their shot, and to double that by then having to manage people who want to be uh, ranked up is more than I can handle. So for now, everyone's a private. We're all equals here. Um, to go back to those technical issues, my sound was not recording the voiceover, so unfortunately all of that was lost. Now, there was some hubbub in the comments about this. I just want to kind of point out that I make these episodes on a very short turnaround, and I do that sort of so everybody gets their chance to get you know a comment in if they want to give feedback, and also because I do part of the recording in my own personal time. Uh, so when an issue like this pops up, and it rarely does, but occasionally, you know, it does happen, uh, there's really, like, no window for fixing the error. Like, the options were essentially, um, I put it out as it was, or there's just no episode, or it's late, and I don't really want to start putting out late episodes as we want to kind of stick to the schedule we have. Uh, so in this case, I decided to just speed up the footage I had, especially since a lot of it was really just me killing mobs. And um, figure you'd all watch that. And I do read uh, pretty much every comment I can, and so I do get a, l a wide range of feedback. And Some people want to see building, some want to see adventuring, some people like sped up footage, and some people hate it, and so... You know, it's kind of hard to make that decision of whether or not a full episode, a full sped up episode would work. I think every once in a while it's fine. And, you know, we're back to normal. It's not going to become a regular thing. Uh, what will become regular for the next few episodes is I need to hunt mobs because I need more ender eyes. Because we only have two eyes of ender. And that's not nearly enough to get us where we need to go. So, I need arrows. And I think I put them in tools, but I didn't, clearly. And I don't think I have everything I need. I don't have any feathers. Uh-oh. Because I got this cool bow. Bow of Power 1. Um, I mean, I guess I have swords, so that'll work. I should make another one. Let's do that while we wait for the sun to set. I don't know if this is official, like, Minecraft um, knowledge, or if it's just me assuming from what I've... I've noticed, but it seems like um, Endermen come out at night. So we're going to wait for night to fall. And that kind of sucks because I can't really skip tonight, seeing as, I mean, I can in post, I guess, but I, I got to wait in the game because uh, there's no, like, bed to set it tonight. At least, not to my knowledge. Let's see how our farm's doing in the meantime. Got some piggies. Where's... Do I have wheat? If I have wheat, I could feed these guys. Yes, I do. 
Um, so if you want to be the Pumpkin Army, three things you could do. This, sorry, this all sounds familiar to, to the regular watchers, viewers. Um, wow. You can join our server. Details are in the, uh, the, con in the description of the video. And just ask me. And that's really enough to to get a get your name on there. Secondly, if you don't want to join the server, you can't join the server. You send an at reply on Twitter. We're at Howcast Gaming, and just ask through there. Most most likely, that'll get you get you on there. Uh, and lastly, if neither of those two things are something you want to do, you can always ask in the comments of the video. I limit it to ten per week, just so it doesn't drag on too long. Can you save little baby sheep? Nope. Um. Oh, this is getting too crowded. I'm going to need to build a bigger pen. Alright. We got all the wool we're going to get out of these guys. Hey guys, over here. Whoa. can't get through. <laughs> I'm trapped. I am one of the sheep now. Uh. Alright. Um. So, let's talk the server episodes. I'm going to be doing two episodes. Uh, not next week, or I should say not... Yes, actually, next week and then the week after. I'm going to be at Paxi's, so I will not be able to create episodes. And rather than making them ahead of time, I'm going to use it to... Uh, well, I am going to make them ahead of time, I guess I should say. But uh, I'm not going to make typical episodes. I'm going to take make episodes just kind of showing off what everybody's been building on the server. The server's kind of grown, and uh, there's a lot of cool stuff there. If you, if you haven't joined, I really suggest checking it out. It's a very friendly community. Um... It's just going to be kind of like an overview of the whole server and all the cool stuff people built. Maybe give some good ideas there. And, uh, yeah, that'll be two episodes. They may not be 20-minute episodes. I kind of don't know how the format's going to work. Just kind of flying off the seat of my pants here. And then uh, I will return and we'll go back to a normal schedule. Hopefully by then we'll be close enough. We'll have enough ender ender pearls that we can start looking for the stronghold and that'll be a cool adventure episode uh, because I don't want to spend too many episodes here just doing this and looking for eyes vendor in fact if this episode bores you guys hey look a little XP if this episode bores you guys too much like just walking around trying to get these mobs um, let me know in the comments because if enough of you do say something I can just get all that stuff off screen and then you know next episode I'll have Ten Eyes of Ender, and we could just go from there and start looking for a stronghold. But uh, I want to do what you guys want. And finally, might as well get this out of the way, um, live stream idea. So this is an idea that we're most like gonna, likely going to go with. I don't know if it's going to be the next live stream or just a live stream in the future, since it's a May. But uh, the Xbox version of Minecraft will be coming out in May. I think early May. And so I think Ben and I, that weekend it comes out, are going to do a live stream. Uh, just showing off, you know, the split screen co-op Minecraft. You see the differences. See if there's anything new or interesting in it. Or if it's just an older version of this Minecraft. Again, May is kind of far away, so we might do something in uh, April, but that's yet to be decided. Now, Ender, Endermans, where are you? Hunger Games is out. Are you all, uh, whoa! Are you all watching the Hunger, Hunger Games, enjoying it? I might go see it myself sometime this week. I'm tempted. I know nothing of it except it's called Hunger Games and Stanley Tucci's in it. 
Man, there's really a shortage of... Whoa. You know what I should do? I should do something with all that sulfur that I'm picking up and go blow something out with TNT. First, I need to find Enderman. How is it that <sighs> I go to record and there are no Endermen? I notice there's always more in the desert than any other biome, and it's always at night. So we're at perfect conditions here, and there's just nothing. None. There he is. Let's go. Let's do this. Got carb up first. Let's get all these mobs first. Alright, here we go. Legs, legs, legs! Nothing. What is the drop rate on these things? Because I've killed more Endermen than getting Ender Pearls. I mean, I'm getting a ton of XP. That's cool. I'm going to be able to enchant something sweet. It would be great if you enchanted an Eye of Ender and that made it invulnerable. That's something I would want. Maybe there are only X amount of Endermen per biome. We well, could definitely enchant something. So here's my Minecraft question of the week for you all. Um, what do you do in Minecraft? Like, what is your activity of choice? Are you miners or crafters or a little bit of both or, you know, oh, I see another one. Do you, I know some people actually make a game out of, out of the game in the sense that they build like obstacle courses and, you know, gauntlets of mob traps. Take take part in stuff like that. Let me know. Maybe you know talk about some of the more creative ideas you guys have out there. Oh uh, come on. Ah. Where where where? Ah ah! Oh my god. I feel like this is training for beating the game. Yes! We got one. And there's another one over there. I gotta go. I gotta go get to him. Ah, he's following me and the sun's coming up. Out of here! Come on, come on, come on! Now I'm gonna have to deal with this creeper. <coughs> come on, drop one! Ah! All right. Let's start heading back. No luck.
Well, okay, we got one. That's pretty good. We've got some XP, so we're getting there. You know what might be a good idea? I'm going to make a bunch of torches, like a ton of torches, and then we'll take the ender, the eyes of ender that we have, and we'll start going in the direction it leads us, and we'll make a torch path. That way, rather than you guys having to watch me just gather up a ton and hope that's enough, I'll be able to, you know, head out there and start building a pathway to the stronghold, and then, you know, when we run out of eyes of ender, we just turn around and head back and collect more, and... That way we'll be able to also go out adventuring without losing this place. Alright. First things first. Nope. Nope. There we go. Three. All right. And raw chicken. Rotten flesh is always a good backup food source. Look at all that gunpowder. I thought it was sulfur. I don't know why. Got some arrows, now we can use this bow. So what I'm going to do is take all of this wood, all of these sticks. First I'm going to make two more swords, because we're going through those faster than I expected. Put them up here for now. Now I need coal. There's plenty of it. Let's put this stuff back. Get rid of this sand. I don't know how I got all that sand. Wood we could hold on to, whatever. Wheat, whatever. Food, food, food. Tell me I have a thing for food here. I got apples. I guess that'll do. That'll do for now. Alright, and we'll grab these and let's go. Now, I kindly, re I kind of remember throwing one uh, a while back and it led this way, so I'm just gonna head this way anyway. Oh, also, so you saw in fast motion, like, the sort of half-assed job I did on this up here. I had no idea what I was doing. I still don't know what to do I mean, I kind of want to make a little temple for the pumpkins, but, like, there's no way to make it a proper temple without more or less destroying the whole thing up there and rebuilding it, which could totally be a post-endgame thing that we do. Um, but in the meantime, I just poured water, so it looked like a cool, uh, cool-looking waterfall there. Let's get to the edge of this biome, and then we'll throw one of these suckers and see where it leads us. All right, let's throw one. See where it goes. This away. Don't break, please. Awesome. All right. So I guess uh, this advice will be a little too little too late, but I don't know how often should I be throwing those guys. I don't know what the typical distance from a stronghold is, so for all I know, I might be throwing them too often. Uh, okay, we'll cross this water here. I do have boats, but I suspect, yep, there's land right there. Can you put torches on those? Nope. That sucks. Alright. 
We're going a little over the 20 minute mark uh, that I usually stick to. Mainly because I apologize for last week's episode not really living up to expectations. So, hope a little more on this one helps. Oh, that's a pretty clear cut chunk there. Alright. Let's, uh, let's throw one of these guys again. Whoosh! Just curved a little bit to the right more. Don't pop, or do pop. This is where it gets dangerous, because it's finding the torches in the forest. It can be so easily hidden. You know it would be really sad, funny, depressing. Hey, I don't have any bones. Sorry, dog. Uh, if this led all the way back to the first starting area... All right, we're gonna. Is that wool? He ate the sheep. Monsters. All right. Let's toss one up here. Where'd it go? Don't break. All right. So I guess this is the direction. Whoa, look at that chunk. Huh. Okay, I say we throw the next one. Uh, wow, we had to go through a forest, huh? I was going to say at the water edge, but I don't think that was water edge. I thought that's just where it stopped spawning. Blocks. Or maybe that is a water's edge. Yes, it is. Look at that. Oh, great. Wouldn't it be great if our stronghold was under the ocean? Alright. We'll get up to the top of that little hill there and then throw, throw one of these bad boys uh, up in the air. I wonder, do they have limited lifespans? Like, could one statistically just always last forever? Just never break? Maybe. Maybe that's it. Maybe that one is the lucky one. Let's get some apples. Uh-oh, we're coming up on the ocean. I remember this ocean. You might not. But this is actually the ocean I crossed to get back to the village after one of the times I died. And I assume if I throw this, it's going to go out into the ocean. And it'll probably break. <gasps> no, it doesn't. Now i got to go get it. Alright. We got it. Um. Huh. Interesting. Let's hop in a boat. And I guess it was this direction. So we'll just go in this direction. Jungle! Oh my goodness. This is not new. This was in 1.2. But it is new to the map. Don't break. Nice. I just have to keep saying that, and it will never break. That is statistically true. Is that where we set off? That's not far at all. 
So let's put a bunch of torches here just so we know. We'll even leave that boat there. Okay, I'm going to end it here. And I think what we'll do in the next episode, if you guys want, is we'll keep looking for the stronghold with the two we have. And we'll get to explore the jungle a little bit. Maybe I'll throw together a fishing line and we'll go find an ocelot and turn it into our kitty cat. And it'll be the outcast kitty cat. Um, if you like what you see, please don't hesitate to subscribe, comment, like the video, all that good stuff on YouTube. Uh, I put out episodes every Monday and Thursday around noon Eastern time. It kind of varies depending on how fast it uploads and everything like that. So, as always, leave feedback. I love reading what you guys have to say, and I hope you all have a great week, and I will see you back here on Thursday. <laughs>